Hey guys, Tom Shu here, also known as AK Freak on some of the IRC channels and some of the forums and stuff. And today we're talking about a aux CNC build that I just helped my friend finish up. And the driver board for it is the Tiny G. Now there's a lot of information I want to cover in this thing. And the reason why I want to cover this thing is I didn't see too many videos out there that specifically address the aux with a Tiny G setup using a quiet spindle and the PWM controller for that spindle. Don't let those terms uh, scare you or anything like that. I'll go over it step by step, everything about it, but I first want to start with the, the heart of the system, which is this control board. This is the Tiny G. And basically, there's two sides to it, okay? There's one side that has all of your stepper inputs, and then there's potentiometers that let you adjust the current. If you uh, crack those about halfway, between 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock, that's a pretty good starting point. And then when you start cutting, you can uh, adjust those. Or you can follow the test on the Synthetos website. Because that's who makes this thing. is called Synthetos. This is a V8 board, I believe. V8 or V9? I can't. I think it's a V8. Anyhow, on the other side over here is all your little inputs. Uh, for your limit switches and uh, PWM input for your spindle controller, all that kind of stuff. All happens over here now you can also uh, drive this thing directly from a Raspberry Pi uh, there's some tricks for setting that up we won't be covering that today or you can just plug it into a computer and run chili peppers what we're going to be using which is a G code server it's like a control software that runs and sends information to the tiny G okay so I want to go over and talk about the stepper setup first and uh, some of the things that we ran into that caused us a little bit of a problem but uh, so let's reset up the camera and go into that part with the steppers. Okay, let's talk about stepper motors. Now this kit came from SMW3D. They're out of Houston. A guy named Brandon runs that business. Uh, these aux kits, they are available as piece by piece from Open Builds. If you Google aux CNC kit, they're like they're first on the Google search. You can buy all the rail pieces by yourself and then kind of find all of your electronics that you want to run or you can buy them as a kit. Now when you buy them as a kit there's pretty good documentation on how to build the frame but when you uh, comes to electronics it's kinda up to the person building the the machine to do the research with the companies that make the particular hardware. Uh, it was kinda confusing for the PWM spindle but we'll talk about it in a little ways. But right now we're talking about the stepper motors and again there was some confusion on the stepper motors because we went by the Synthetos website uh, for the Tiny G. There's a section on servos and how to set them up. And we tried the colors and, you know, the colors didn't work out because these particular servos, um, stepper motors, come from a company, they're Motec. Uh, these are made in China or whatever. They're pretty good steppers. They're NEMA 23s. And the wire colors aren't the same on the, the um, Synthetos website. So there's a way... If you go by colors on wires, you're going to kind of run into some problems. There's a way to identify what wires are what by pairs. All uh, stepper motors, they run in pairs of wires. In a four-wire stepper motor, which this one is, I'm not trying to do a stepper motor tutorial. I just want to let you know that how to identify the pairs of wires. Because these particular stepper motors come with a blue, yellow, red, and green. Now, that blue, yellow, red, and green are not listed on the Synthetos or Tiny G website and uh, yeah so <laughs> we ran into a little bit of problems now he's also going to send you some four pin stepper wire okay and that stepper wire is uh, going to be blue black red and green okay at the stepper motor the pairs are blue yellow red green okay and if you just attach all the wires together you'll find out you'll have a black wire off of the four pins that go to the board that will attach to the yellow wire. Now how do you identify the pairs? It's real simple. With nothing hooked up, no connections to the Tiny G, just the wires just kind of sitting out like this, okay? You spin the motor and you see that it's free. Grab any two wires and hold them together. Just kind of twist them together. And now if you try to turn the motor and it doesn't want to turn, like a brake is on, that's a pair. You keep mixing combinations until you have two separate pairs that stop. Okay, those will be noted on the Tiny G as A1, A2, B1, B2. All right, so if we're looking at the four pin wire that we solder to the stepper leads, those pairs are red, green, 
blue black okay and again you put all the colors together on the stepper which blue to blue green to green red to red and black goes to yellow again the pairs are green red blue black now since this machine has dual y-axis let's set that up and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so back here when I first identified the board we talked about where the um, stepper wires go in the tiny G you'll notice on each section there's motor 1, motor 2, motor 3, motor 4 each one of these channels or motor sections can handle two and a half amps of current so if you're running a small machine you could actually run two motors just flip the leads and parallel them together in one channel and that could be your Y they'll operate together as one motor but one will be running backwards however since we have four channels we went ahead and put one Y in motor three and one Y in motor two our Z was in motor one and our X is in motor four now it doesn't really matter how you wire these up as long as they're all in pairs and you can assign in the configuration software what motor is what and which direction it's going so don't get too tied up with that if you make sure that you've got your motors in pairs and you've identified the pairs and you run them as A1 A2 B1 B2 and that is a pair okay that's the, what's most critical now let's look at some of the rest of the stuff on the tiny G board